Welcome to Breakthrough Conversations with Coach Pete, and I'm Gloria Leibecker. Pete just got back from Italy, so what a great time for us to actually talk about what it's like to go on vacations or just anything about vacations. Personally, I would love to go to Italy. I haven't been there yet, but I've got a little bit of a taste of what it's like because I know Coach Pete. So Pete, what comes up to you with, for you when you think about vacations? Hi, Gloria. Good to see you again. <laughs> uh, yeah, vacations. I don't know if how unique this is. It's probably not. There's nothing about anybody that's unique, really. Um, but I used to have difficulty with vacations, particularly in my corporate life. Before I was a life coach, I was in the corporate world, sales, marketing, advertising. And I worked for corporations. When I was a young man entering that world, um, I learned a lesson from someone, a colleague of mine, who was one step above me. You know, you have this ladder in corporate, there's always a step to aspire to. And this, this was a colleague who was, he was a, a mark, marketing manager when I was a market manager. And that ING made a difference. Yeah. So he was above me. And he said to me, he called me aside. I never forgot this. Haven't, been in touch with him in so many years. He said, hey, Pete, the only one who notices you're not taking vacation time is you. And I said, I had to think about it. And I, I said, wow, that's, a, that's an interesting bit of advice. Because I was in this mode of working hard, 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 trying to move up the ladder, trying to get promotions. And so I would ignore vacation. I would ignore re refreshing you know, taking a breath, taking a break. And that was really good advice. So I don't know if anybody, if anybody else, if that can help anybody else. But in addition to that, when I did go on vacation, because I do have a partner, my wife, and she was really into the fun part of life and enjoying ourselves. And there was a difference in how we approached vacation. Her, she was just ready to relax and enjoy. Me, I'm thinking about sales calls that I, need, that I should be making or what's going on back at the home office and all these things that I should be, should quote unquote, be able to leave in order to really take a vacation from the day to day pressures. So I had trouble with that. Now you mentioned, I just came back from Italy. It was for my, our son's uh, wedding. It was a spectacular trip and it was pure vacation. And I'm not saying it's the first time I've had that experience because I did learn this lesson a while ago. But it just reminded me of this need that I think we all have of taking a break. I don't care what your line of work is. You need to step away sometimes mm -hmm. and refresh, take a breath, relax, enjoy. I, I concur. <laughs> I completely agree with you. And that can look as simple as, especially if you're in the corporate scene you get up from your desk and you walk down the hall or you go get a drink of water and you really do it being present um watching where you actually are putting your attention so it's it's not so much that you actually physically go take a vacation it's what is your intention when you take the action you're taking that's where vacations begin they begin within your own sense of self with how you're paying attention to your intention or are you paying attention to your patterns that are habits because that's those patterns that we really need to take a break from and i don't know to me it sounds like it'd be a little bit of heaven to be able to really be so successful at that 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 becomes your new pattern that no matter where you're going you're you're really present with what you're about, because then you don't really need a quote vacation. But there's other 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 strands in that tapestry of vacation, which like you talked about it, you know, with your wife. So when I'm gonna go on a vacation with my husband, we're both gonna have different aspects, different strands of that tapestry that we really would like to pay attention to. Some of them we're gonna want to do together and some of them we'll want to do apart. And that can make the tapestry more beautiful. And it's important to actually have conversations around that, though. First with yourself, 
to allow yourself to have the freedom to have an actual vacation and then also to enjoy it with others. It's really true. And it is, it is about having the freedom. Mm -hmm. And it's also, you can, we can take vacations every day, mm -hmm. parts of every day, just getting away from whatever pressures you're under in the work that you do can be kind of a mini little vacation uh, in the evening. Instead of, you know, carrying, it's not just doing the work, but it's carrying it in our minds, all those details. We do need to get away from it. We need to clear our minds, take a breath, relax, refresh. And so those are like mini vacations. We can practice that every day. We can practice that on our weekends. I've had trouble enjoying weekends as part of my early career, getting, just getting away, just setting it aside. Mm -hmm. And once I learned how to do that, it helped me emotionally. It helped me physically. And by the way, it helps your work life too. Yeah. Because then you can be more focused when you're doing your work. <laughs> yeah. So really when, when you are able to focus your attention with intention, it actually shifts your focus in a brand new way that you may not have even experienced yet. So I encourage our viewers to play with that. When you bring in that energy of play, it's a whole new landscape. And so to bring that in, it's a lightness. It has a lighter energy. Whereas these, the pressure, it's, it's intense. It's no joke. It just wants to keep going. It's a bulldozer at times. And so play with being able to really hear that small, quiet voice within that light energy that beckons, give it a chance and let us know what you discover. Sounds great. Let's enjoy. Thanks, Coach Pete.